Good morning. Day one. Let's go to America. I hate early morning flights. But I'm going to America, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm going to America. I can't wait. Let's get up. I also need to go to Officeworks to get a little like Bluetooth thing before I go because of course I forget everything. But I need to get up and chill. I don't want to move. Let's go. Clean outfit. I look like I've just been released from prison to be honest. But stack. Let's see what is camera. Let's go. Waiting for a taxi. So David just upgraded us to business class. I've never gone business class on a lot of flights, so this is so exciting. Uh, I'm about to go through customs, so best husband ever. Or license free alcohol though, so. Uh, oh, Patron. It's my favorite time of day. Free alcohol and free perfume. I'm waiting for samples. I need some more samples. I'm gonna get pissed, honestly. Would I try your thing? So because I was talking about Patron so much and how much I loved it, he was like, here, try this $250 bottle one. So now I'm gonna go get a perfume. I feel like I wanna get a perfume to smell like this whole trip. Oh my god, look who it is. Elizabeth Holmes. Alright, let's have a look at some perfumes. Flight number two in business. I'm so excited for business. Oh, for flight to Los Angeles. I've waited so long to be back in LA and America in general, so I'm super excited. I'm still going to use this camera, you guys know this. I'm really excited, I've never been in business for like a lay down bed business, so this is really exciting. Here we are. It's just moving on. It's a little bit of a second go so I'm a little tired from that. There's two hours and three minutes in that. So I'm going to have some breakfast soon. Don't know what I'm going to have yet, but yeah. Now, regardless of your destination, you must clear immigration and customs. Now, if your bags have been checked to your next flight, after clearing customs and immigration, take your bags to the connecting baggage counter. Just look for the sign that will direct you. If your bags haven't been checked to your next flight, go directly to your airline, to the terminal, and check them in there. Now, I'll be at the door of the aircraft. 
So surprise number two. My husband got me this. Got me. Got himself. This Mustang. What a Mustang. How good. What the hell? So change of plans. The top won't go down. Which is pretty much the whole reason why you get a Mustang so the top goes down. But there's a sensor issue. That's not working. So we're going to get another Mustang. I think we're going to go for this white one here. I mean, obviously we want a red Mustang, but white's just going to have to do it, I guess. So I've just been looking at this one, but I don't think it's a detachable roof. It looks pretty detached to me, so I don't know what's happening, but I'm just going to wait outside with the bags and we're going to figure this out. How annoying, we literally stood in line for like over an hour too. There's just like, it took us longer to get a car, even though we had like a booking of a car. It took us longer to get that than it did to go through customs. Customs only took 20 minutes. So this is annoying, I just want to go check in and shower. I haven't showered for like over 24 hours now. So I'm just feeling a bit, um, just a bit nasty. Same red Mustang, just a different one. Let's see. Okay, so we made it to a hotel room. Have a cheeky little nap because, but I don't want to ruin my jet lag. And I'm gonna head downstairs and meet my partner David and we're gonna go get some in and out burger. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. I just want like carbs and like, goodiness and iced tea so okay we're going down now um we'll see you soon there he is there's my husband look at him hello uber time for some in and out strawberry love next they ran out of tea but also plastic plastic straw how good i have missed these so much Animal star fries, let's go. So I'm back in my hotel room. I had in there and it was delicious as always. I just washed my hair, I just got my CVS and I had a bit of a headache, I think just because of the lack of sleep I got. Even though I was in business, the seatbelt side was turning on like a lot because there's a lot of turbulence. So it was like turbulence, the light, I just couldn't sleep. Um, but I did get a good solid four hours at one point, which was lovely. But yeah. So that is the end of my Melbourne to the end of my first day. I'm here, I'm in LA! And I'm going to Disney tomorrow, so I will do a whole new vlog for that. Which is going to be really exciting, it's going to be Halloween there, it's my favourite time of year. And we also drove past so many houses today that just were decked out in Halloween. And also like the huge like Home Depot skeletons, which was actually super scary. Like it was, honestly, look how terrifying that is. Isn't that? literally so terrifying but yeah we literally just went down one suburban street and there was all this halloween stuff so that is my day uh I'm currently watching the uh what is it the basketball i was actually we were gonna go to this game it is a pre-season game but we're gonna go to an actual season game uh towards the end of our trip so we're gonna watch that and go to sleep it is currently 9 30 9 20 currently 9 20 so yeah i think it's definitely time for bed we have a big day tomorrow at disneyland so thanks again for watching guys Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Has anyone else ever done business class? Because I'd love to hear your experience with airline. Because it was it was so much fun. I loved it. I loved the food. The people were lovely. Just the space in the bed. Oh, it was crazy. So let me know and I will film a Disney vlog tomorrow for you guys as well. So bye guys.